The time is now 12 hours 20 and it is time for the National Outlook with GHK Lal for July 22nd. Gabriel Lal on the National Outlook here. Thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. Here's, an, here's a headline from Saturday. Finance Ministry will come clean on external COVID-19 funding in due course. One more time. Financial Ministry says will come clean on external COVID-19 funding in due course. The finance ministry and finance officials, the ones at the top who can do something about this, are not dealing with their personal and private business. This is the country's business. This is the people's business, mine and yours. Let's say I don't count. That's easy. What about all the rest of you out there? What about all the rest of families and communities, people with children, people that are at home? This is about COVID-19 funding. We have, I don't know if we can call it a second wave in the United States, but we have some serious pressures there, some tr troubling developments. The word yesterday here, recently, was that our airports may have international airports reopening may have to be pushed to later in August. So we keep pushing back and pushing back so nothing is really happening. We have become an island, we are isolated. But here's the financial ministry according to Kaicho News on Saturday morning saying we will tell you about funding developments in due course. That sounds to me like when we feel like it, when it pleases us. When we think we have a story that is positive and pleasing, well, that will not do. That does not work. That is not acceptable. It's like I said, this is public business, and the public business needs to be disseminated on a timely basis, on a truthful basis, on an accurate basis, on what it needs to know. And we need to know where we stand on funding. Look, our people are at home. They don't have any income. The private sector people do not have any income. Some places that have been on rotation, the, the pay already barely enough to make ends meet. The pay has been reduced. But we are talking that in government circles, at the finance ministry, that we will get back to you when we, when we are ready, in due course. I mean, that's nice and polite, and we are grateful for that. But what's going on here? People are looking for relief. We are frightened. We are reaching and pleading for help. We don't know our cases are increasing, COVID-19 cases. Our deaths are increasing slowly, but they are increasing. It seems that last week we have a death more often than not so tell us what is going on here please tell us what the where we really stand with the world bank tell us where we stand with other agencies approach we have a feeling not more than a suspicion that it's tied to covid it's tied to the early elections impasse by the time you hear this we should have been finished with that and things should be ready to move on but here's the story when our political governance take it upon themselves to withhold information that is beneficial to our welfare that we need to know then we are in more than a dark place we're in a dangerous place because where does it stop what else is being withheld from us so we ask we ask of our leaders stop this nonsense discontinue this kind of practice we five years ago 
and every five years our political leaders go in and say we are about the people we will respond to the people we will do what is right for the people COVID-19 funding that is what is right for us that is what is good for us that is what we want to hear about tell us where we are give us the bad news if there are any good if there's any good news give that to us too but don't go around sneaking about and buying time and playing games and making fools of us because at the end of the day the bigger fools are those who engage in these practices to just leave all of us wondering will we ever get to anywhere better we're struggling to get out of this pandemic and its and its handcuffs but we we seem to be going around in circles just like everything else around here suspended is not the word dragging feet is not the word mired in quicksand is not the phrase what is happening here is that we are lost and we don't want to find our way well when our leaders don't want to find our way we remain stuck in a bad place so tell us what is happening with COVID-19 funding tell us what relief we can expect tell us where we can look to and when we can look for it to give to those especially the poor and vulnerable in our society so that we can feel a little breath of fresh air we have not much of that recently we could use a little bit now tell us the truth about COVID finding and tell us COVID-19 funding and tell us now until the next time this is Gabriel Lal wishing you all the best